Good day, guys. Austin here. And in this one today, we're going to be looking at us playing Persona 5 on the PS3. But we're playing it on the PC. We're emulating it. And we're utilizing the emulator, the RPC S3. That basically plays as the PS3 games on our PCs. Now, before I get stuck into this, I want to put out the Gypsy's warning as always, guys. This is a very recent game. This is a very awesome game, an awesome franchise. And whatever you think of developers or goods or systems or whatever, I should always say that you should pay for what you play. So if you're going to be emulating this, even though you're probably better off just playing it on the original system anyway, if you're going to be emulating it, then you want to be playing or paying for the game, should I say. So now we've got that out of the way, let's think about the kind of performance that we're getting. Okay, in the top right, top left hand corner, should I say, we are getting the frames per second. As you can see, these are very low. This is a 60 frames per second game. And although I haven't probably configured this to the maximum, you would be well receiving this kind of frames per second. While I've just figured that out, I'll also put fraps on as well so you can see how it impacts in both ways. This should be nigh on the same um, in terms of what kind of readings you're going to be getting you. And there you go, bottom left hand corner, fraps is now enabled. They should be more or less the same. Okay, in terms of the speed of the game, it's working pretty well. Um, yes, it is jittery as anything. And I have tried to play this in various different setups. Now, at the moment, this version is being played in OpenGL. I did use the Vulkan version of the game, or should I say, I was utilizing the API to play this game through the emulator. And although I was getting, what, a couple of frames per second extra, what was happening was it was taking a huge uh, impact in terms of the visuals. A lot of the colors were turning more of a, a muddy color. There were some lighting fragments that I was noticing and some of the things that were in game that I knew should be there for playing it on the PS3 weren't appearing. Although the OpenGL does seem to be a tiny fraction slower, I would say it's a lot more compatible and given us a truer representation on the screen of the original. So anyway, we've <laughs> waffled on enough and we can see that the cutscenes aren't working to their full potential. So while I'm talking about this, in the bottom right corner, that's the date that I am recording this video and when I've took this footage. I did use the most recent version of this emulator. However, I was having troubles with it. Basically, uh, when I got actually into the game, there was quite a lot of light fragments going on and glitches on the screen. So what I did was I backdated that a little bit. And the version that you're seeing now is version from um, the third of this month. So yeah, it's a couple of weeks old now. I will put a link in the description down below so you can download it and test it yourself in your own builds. It's not because it's any special build, it's more because well, let's face it, it's a work in progress emulator. It's very much early days for this kind of stuff. And some builds will work better on some games and some builds will work worse on others. It's just hit of the draw. Hopefully, pretty soon, we'll have huge strides forward, especially now that this game has become more mainstream, more people are getting involved, and hopefully more developers and public are aware because this is an open source uh, emulator, more people will jump on the bandwagon to try and, well, especially get this game working a lot better. Now that we've seen that kind of performance, especially in the short term with the Semi team, hopefully that could, you know, migrate over to the PS3 emulation. Of course, this is a completely different kettle of fish. I don't want you to bring too many comparisons together. That emulator is completely different from this one. God knows what's going on behind the closed doors of the Semu emulator stuff going on. This is very much open source, although it's a completely different kettle of fish in terms of the system that it's emulating. And of course, the people who's working on it, how it's been emulated and brought over to the PC, so on and so forth. So you can't bring too many comparisons comparisons from what I hear and I'm no developer of course um, the PlayStation 3 in terms of an actual um, system to port over to the PC is quite a niggly thing to do although the actual parts and the operating system may be in comparison to others it's well it's well above my pay grade guys let's put it that way and <laughs> let's not expect much so anyway we waffled on let's get into the game and as you can see 
this is the performance that I'm getting. I can go into the settings, I can go into the configurations, and I can probably squeeze a little bit here and there. But this is the kind of performance that you would be expecting, especially from a system compa in comparison to mine at this stage. Although I did test it on the most recent build at this stage, this is where the graphical bugs were really starting to kick in. I was, however, getting probably a slight increase in frames per second, but not anything that you would really notice. I would not say that this is fully playable. In fact, you can pretty much say it's not fully playable. Yes, you can get into game. Yes, you can move around. Yes, you can do all the bits and bobs that you're supposed to do. But what you can't do is actually enjoy the game. So, because this is such a masterpiece, I would say if, well, you've already got the game, play it on the PS3 for now. Keep that old console popped in your power sockets because it's the only way, uh, unless obviously you've updated and you're not a PS4 owner, that you're going to be enjoying this game. Um, but I, I love this game. I absolutely love it. I'm surprised that I never got into Persona before. It was one of them that I knew it was supposed to be good, but I just couldn't get into it. Once I started playing in the later iterations, I just got hooked. It's one of them storylines that you can't really falter. What the hell is going on here? My guy is going crazy. He's walking on midair. So as you can see, there's also glitches in terms of the game as well. Give me back. Give me safe. <laughs> And also, there's supposed to be two guys. No, there they are. They were late to the party. Yeah, there's supposed to be two guys from what I remember, but there's actually three. So this level is a bit hit and miss because, let's face it, it's a very busy level. So it's a hard one to emulate on a struggling emulator. All those people down below have to be rendered. The environment is very complicated. There's all those flashing lights in the background and stuff. So you've got to take that into consideration. This is a, well, it's going to bring this emulator to its needs. Although it does work on certain games very well, as we can see, it's too much early days for this game in particular. Um, well now I'm sure there's a boss at this point so we can see how it's working more in a closed environment but again I'm not gonna be expecting much it's early days whoa <laughs> so we've got lighting effects color effects going on uh, yeah it's still bad isn't it we've got huge glitches huge so we've got big speed up slowdowns graphical errors it's not good so I would say that this game is as you can see guys it's working you can play it but you're not going to enjoy playing it it's too far gone at this early stage hopefully in the future things will improve and things will stride forward as always let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to test any other games or if you would like me to test any other emulators or if you'd like anything else in particular always please like please subscribe please do everything in this youtube world where atlas take your youtube channels down if you play more than seven seven <laughs> but most of all most of all you have a good day laters